Hey, what's up YouTube? So in this video, I wanted to quickly discuss a possible way to downgrade your iOS device from iOS 11.4 to a soon to be jailbreakable version of iOS, even after the iOS 11.3.1 signing window has closed. Because presumably there are still some iPhone users out there that want to jailbreak and that missed out on downgrading their device to iOS 11.3.1 while the signing window was still open. Well, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a potential beta software workaround on downgrading your device. So as of recording this video, and for unknown reasons, iOS 11.3 beta 6 is still being signed by Apple, meaning it is still possible to downgrade from iOS 11.4 to iOS 11.3 beta 6, provided you have the iOS 11.3 beta 6 IPSW file and restore manually through iTunes. Now I have never seen this happen before, thus I can really not say how long Apple will continue to sign 11.3 beta 6, but I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with this. So I saw a few comments about this earlier today, but once I got home I decided to test it out for myself and I can confirm that it does in fact work. I tested it on my iPhone 6 right here. It was running iOS 11.4. I downloaded the iOS 11.3 beta 6 IPSW file and restored through iTunes manually. And sure enough, the restore went through without a hinge. It worked perfectly fine. And then this phone was running iOS 11.3 beta 6. Now at this point, I am re-upgrading my iPhone to 11.4 to demonstrate this process in this video. But I just wanted to share this incredible news with you guys. There is still a way to downgrade your device from iOS 11.4 to a version of iOS that could be receiving a jailbreak very soon. Now, I by no means recommend doing this process if, say, you're on iOS 11 to 11.3.1 on an official build. Oh, there we go. My iPhone has just updated to 11.4. Real quickly, sorry to interrupt this video, but I'm just going to go to general, about, and then, yeah, as you guys can see, it's officially on 11.4. It's 8.37 p.m., you guys want to note the serial number anyway i just wanted to show you guys that this for sure does work i'm not doing any tomfoolery here it's absolutely insane to me that apple is still signing a beta of 11.3 anyways like i said i don't really recommend if you're on an official build of ios 11 to actually do this process this is more so of a last ditch effort if you're on 11.4 like this device is here and you missed out on the 11.3.1 signing window because as you guys know tanner made a video earlier today 11.3.1 is no longer being signed, thus you cannot downgrade to it, and that's the version of iOS that the next jailbreak for iOS 11 will be for and will work up to. It will not work on iOS 11.4. So again, just to clarify, the process I'm about to highlight really is only for people running iOS 11.4 or an iOS 12 beta and have missed the signing window. And there really is no downside of trying this out. The worst thing that can happen is you'll have to restore your device back to 11.4 if for some reason the restore process fails or the beta ends up crashing for any reason. Long story short, I would highly advise you to back up your device before attempting this for yourselves if you so do so. Again, restoring is one thing and then jailbreak compatibility is another. It's also unclear if this beta version of iOS 11.3 will be supported by the next version of the Electra jailbreak. But like I said, this is a last ditch effort to downgrade your device from iOS 11.4 to a potentially jailbreakable version of iOS. Presumably iOS 11.3 beta 6 will be able to be jailbroken with Electra the same way an official build of iOS 11.3 would be. I really just wanted to let everyone know in today's video that iOS 11.3 beta 6 is still being signed currently and that Apple could stop signing it at literally any point in time. So this is very time sensitive information. Anyway, this video is entirely for educational purposes only. I wish I could provide you the direct download link to the iOS 11.3 beta 6 IPSW file, but for legal reasons, I cannot, although it would not be hard to find with a simple Google search. So again, like I've been talking about this entire video, the only thing we have to do is restore our device now to iOS 11.3 beta 6, through iTunes manually by connecting it to the computer. It is the exact same process I've highlighted in previous videos, just this time we are going to be using the iOS 11.3 beta 6 IPSW file. So very quickly to do this, ensure your device is connected to your computer and that you've trusted the connection. I'm actually surprised it didn't ask me to trust the connection. This is a brand new setup, freshly restored device. Anyway, once you have it all plugged in and you've trusted the connection, the last thing we're going to do is disable find my iPhone. Now I'm actually not signed into any iCloud service right now, 
But again, you can disable Find My iPhone by just selecting your iCloud username, navigating to iCloud, and then navigating to Find My iPhone and deselecting the toggle right there. Enter your password and then Find My iPhone will be turned off. All right, so once you're at this stage, once it's all plugged in and you're, you're good to go on device, we're gonna head over to our computer and we're going to launch iTunes and open up our iPhone summary page. Now, before we begin the restore, again, you will have to have the iOS 11.3 beta 6 IPSW file that, of course, is for your specific device. Now, the file I will be using is on my desktop right here. This one is for the GSM version of the iPhone 6. Again, really what you're looking for is iOS 11.3 and this associated build number right here, IPSW file. So that is something that you'll search for in Google and find on your own. Like I said, guys, it really wasn't that hard for me to find, so I have faith in you there. So once we're at this point, once we have our device connected and once the file is downloaded, you're going to be here on your iPhone summary page within iTunes. Again, we're going to hold Alt on our keyboard if you're on a Mac, Shift if you're on a Windows-based computer, and while holding said button, we're going to click Restore. Then we're going to navigate to the iOS 11.3 Beta 6 IPSW file that again is for your specific device, and that is the only thing that I cannot provide, but again, it can be easily found on Google. We're going to click on that file, click open, and then click restore. And that is pretty much it, guys. The restore process has begun, restoring your device from iOS 11.4 to iOS 11.3 beta 6. Now, if you guys see at the top here in iTunes where it says extracting software, now once that bar fills up, that is typically when the restore process will fail and when it will stop. That is when the verification is sent to Apple servers if this firmware is being signed or not. As you guys can see, not only has it gotten past that stage now, on my iPhone right here, the restore has started, the progress bar has come up. I was absolutely shocked that this process actually worked still, considering iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.3 is not being signed. I have absolutely no idea why Apple is signing an iOS 11.3 beta still. It is just mind-boggling. Alright, so the point of this video that everyone has been waiting for, here is my restored iPhone, and let's see what it looks like. As you guys can see, it literally restored it from scratch all the way back to the original state. I have to go through and set it up manually. Just give me one second, and I will just quickly enter my password for everything here. So again, I'm just going to go through and I'll just quickly brush through these initial setups. So again, once the restore has finished and you're on iOS 11.3 beta 6, and you get to this stage, I would highly advise to set your phone up from scratch, set it up as a new phone if you're intending on jailbreak. I mean, we're already on a beta software and we want to be on as fresh as a copy of iOS as we possibly can be to ensure its stability and longevity if you're jailbreaking. So I'm just gonna set it up as a new phone. For this video, I'm just gonna set up my Apple ID later in settings, maybe. There we go. Click agree, click continue to use express settings. I won't share, I'll choose just a standard view. And finally, we're here to welcome to iPhone. So I'm gonna click get started. And once we're taken to the home screen, you can immediately see that we are on some version of iOS 11, but immediately we are prompted with this sign right here. It says a new iOS update is now available. Please update from the iOS 11 beta. So that pretty much ensures that we are on iOS 11.3 beta 6. One more thing to confirm that we're on this software is if we go down to general about this build number is the same build number that I showed you earlier in this video. And as you guys can see, it is 919 right now. This video took a little while for me to finalize and record and get everything together, but it is finally back on 11.3 beta 6. Now, like I said, there are a couple warnings that sign will come up every time that you open up your device until a jailbreak is out that can disable this warning. And like I said, as far as compatibility goes, it's really unclear if the Electra jailbreak is going to support iOS 11.3, let alone an iOS 11.3 beta, but presumably if Coolstar updates the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1, we already know Ian Beer's exploit works for all versions of iOS 11 from iOS 11.0 to 11.3.1, so it's really up to Coolstar on what he includes in his jailbreak compatibility. If it does include 11.3 support, it most likely will work on this 11.3 beta. Again, this whole entire video is just a last ditch effort. If you want to be on some version of iOS 11 to iOS 11.3.1, again, this will be downgrading you to iOS 11.3, 
beta 6, which presumably in the future will be able to be jailbroken with the updated version of Electra. Anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this restore process. I hope some of you guys can take advantage of it if you are on iOS 11.4 and just want some shot in the dark that you might be able to jailbreak your iPhone in the near future. Anyway, guys, if this video helped out, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you guys want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Yeah.